Welcome back everyone. Yet another Subaru video and finally this has taken way too long. This should have been done when I did the intercooler. But today our little baby hood scoop is going to become a man. All right, so what I got today is we're gonna make this hood scoop into the 2002 to 2003 STI, which is uh, basically just a larger opening for the intercooler. So I have a much bigger intercooler from, I can't remember what it was, like a 2020 STI, something like that. It's massive, it's way bigger than it should be but of course my scoop is not. I have the larger scoop and I also have the Process West open. I also have the Process West splitter to make so this guy works the way it should. You can't just have the regular splitter. That doesn't make sense. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and we're going to take off each one of these 10 millimeter bolts you can also do a Phillips head. There's three down here and then two up top and you also have a Phillips head little uh, plastic screw that you need to uh, take out. Once we get all that out, we can get the splitter off and then we can get the scoop off. All right, so I just got each one of those off. As you can see, all those little holes that I got out of there, the only thing holding this thing on is this plastic screw I just said, you can see the whole splitter is just kind of barely hanging on there. So I'm gonna take this guy out, this whole thing will fall out. All right, there she is, finally taken out. I had a little bit of issue uh, getting this one out right here. Uh, that plastic one just totally stripped, didn't want to rotate out, so I just had to cut it off. But regardless, I've got the whole thing out now. Now, I just need to get the scoop out, which is the rest of these little bolts here, 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 and here. So once we take those out, the only thing holding it in looks like these little blue tabs. You should just be able to squeeze those and push it out. And that, uh, that seems quite easy. I'm gonna jinx myself, aren't I? Okay, so once you take these little guys out, you can see they just come off. They're like little washer wing nut kind of things. This little nut goes on there. Once we got those out, like I said, the only thing holding it in are these little pieces, so I'm gonna drop the hood down and lift this up. All right, encountered my first little tidbit of information. Um, this is a 2005, these have not, be, have not been changed, and as you can see, when I press those tabs in, they just snapped straight onto the inside, so the, those are broken. Good thing I'm not gonna reuse those, but if you're doing this to just replace your hood scoop, those may bra break because they're brittle, so you might have to get new ones. Uh, I also noticed that this guy, I didn't notice because it was really dirty, this guy is actually a tab, just like the blue one. So I'm gonna push these in and then pop this out. There we go, we can see some sunshine. Let's get this guy out. There we go, who needs a scoop? That works. Airflow. All right, here they are side by side. Now, I did not do any sort of paint matching on this one. I literally just went to the store, got some uh, black spray paint and clear coat, and did it on that one. This one is dirtier, but I do believe they are quite similar in blacks until I do get the time and the money to paint match it, but I mean, that's, that's pretty darn close just for doing a spray paint. We actually take a look. Let's clean this off a little bit. Those two blacks compared to each other is very similar. Let's see how it looks on the car and you can definitely tell how much bigger it is. So before we get started, we'll take a look. This is the underneath of the new one. You can see it does come with the little threaded portions here so those nuts can screw onto. As far as I know, they are the exact same thread, so the little nuts should be able to fit on here. On the bottom, we still got that same little black clip. And on the right and left, I've got new ones. These are a different color, but hopefully this all fits in. We will find out soon. So let's get this guy placed where he should be. We're gonna line up right inside here. 
I'm gonna line up that tab so it goes in that hole and then the rest of them so they line up try to get those there we go try to get those little guys lined up so everything drops in place it's very hard to do this it is a very sunny day everything is glaring at me so let's get that god come on that already looks so much better all right super super easy that clip just pops in then you get your left and right clip those just pop into place and of course all of your little guys up here with your threads they're all exactly where they should be there and there now all I got to do is take these little nut washer things that I had on the last one I really hope these fit moment of truth yes they do thread on there all right so go through tighten up all those and then we can put our process west intercooler which is not meant for this intercooler if you have an aftermarket intercooler like a Grim Speed or a Process West or blah 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 blah, it'll fit perfectly. However, this is bigger than all of those because it came off a brand new STI. Um, I honestly don't know how it's going to fit. That guy. So let's figure that out. All right, I got them all on. I've got them snugged on. These aren't something you're supposed to really tighten on because that plastic and then putting it through, it's definitely not something you want to torque on because you're going to snap that plastic so let's take a look this is really hard to do with one hand let's take a look how everything looks sitting flush look at that it's a big boy scoop right there and i do think it is way cleaner but i do think that black looks just crazy crazy similar just for being black spray paint that I got at the store because I really at this moment did not want to pay like $80 for spray paint online that matches this it's like obsidian black pearl paint code and I did not want to buy that super expensive and I'm not very good at painting I don't want to go into detail on the issues that I had with this but I am not a painter or wrist but it looks good from a distance everything's polleny anyway so BAM got it now time for the splitter now like I thought this isn't going to fit perfectly so for this intercooler that I have if you do end up doing it this way because it's much cheaper this was from a salvage car my intercooler so I believe it's from a 2020 STI and you can see over here that from here to here it, it's the same measurement so this will work fine however you can see I've got a little bit of extra this one you can see through there I've got it just right on the corner so it is much longer but or much wider but not as long or whichever way you want to orient it so that fits that doesn't fit uh, but I also don't know how uh, this goes on. I'm just mocking it up right now to see that fitment. I still have to put it up here and see exactly where it lays on here, or whether or not I get a good seal around the bottom where I have it sitting right now. So same thing, I'm gonna put it up. I don't have that one, so I'm just gonna have to leave that one out. I'm gonna put all these screws back in through the little holes here. Now you can't put this on the wrong way, just like uh, I was just about to put it on the wrong way. The little mesh thing goes that way because the air is gonna be coming in like this. Then it's gonna come in and my camera is not gonna work, but it's gonna come in there and then it's gonna scoop down. But you can't put it because these three little screws here on the bottom, they're spaced differently than the ones up at the top. That one, that one, and of course the middle one. So you can't put this in the wrong way. All right, so due to the curve that this has, you see how it curves way down right there. Because of that, it makes it very hard to get to that one, the one on the other side, and especially the middle screw. So the way that I got to those, I just have a ratcheting wrench. Um, you can just use a normal open end wrench if you want to or a closed end, but ratcheting one works a thousand times better. Just pop it up in there and tighten all of those down. I've got the whole thing up now. Now it is time for some fitment. 
It's not really a whole lot I can do for adjusting that, but we're just gonna see how it lays. Lies? Lays. All right, so it looks like on the right-hand side is gonna be flush, on the left-hand side is gonna be that extra. So, it looks pretty good. I can't really get the camera in a whole lot better than that. All right, so after reviewing the cell phone and the engine bay footage, I've probably got another inch of clearance before it touches down and seats very well. So I'm gonna have to search around. I'm not gonna do it in this video, but uh, the weather stripping that's on here, I'm gonna have to find something that's a little bit more bulky or at least something that I can fit around the edges of the intercooler to make sure that touches and I get the best possible contact for cooling. So that's done. The scoop's on. I'm done, except for that part, which, I mean, it's weather stripping. You don't wanna watch me do that, do you? All right, guys, we have gone from the tiny stock scoop to the STI scoop, and I think it looks fantastic. Give it a little bit of a clean. It'll look very close until I can get to the paint matching paint correction of the whole car. That's a video to come. I'm going to super clean this car. I'm going to do the headlights. I'm going to make this thing look as good as it feels driving. I hope you guys enjoy this and I'll see you next time when, uh, well, I got, I got two things. And if you're in this far in the video, then you deserve to know because everyone else has clicked off so far. I'm going to be doing headers, equal length headers, sadly. The rumble will go away. And I will also be doing a in-depth detail. So this thing is gonna look beautiful showroom ready. It's gonna be in a while getting a house with a garage. It's gonna be awesome. So much better content. So stay tuned.